Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back. You're watching Bananas and today I decided to come out with this really cool story. It is about how we filmed our very first music video for the song Judgmental Trap. Many of you already know that song, many of you even watched the music video, but not all of you know that actually we filmed a little film behind the scene while we were uh, filming that music video. The only thing is we didn't really publish it for many reasons. Actually back in the days we decided that maybe one day the time will come and we will show people what we did and how we did it. Because at that time we didn't have a lot of resources, we didn't have a lot of money, we didn't have a lot of possibilities to do something big. So here I am today for you, telling you how it really was. It's a crazy story. I hope you're curious and you're ready and you have some popcorn to <laughs> snack on because it's a pretty long story. I'll try to be uh, short, I'll try to be brief about it and to put together only the most beautiful, interesting, and funny moments for you. Enjoy. Life is too short. Come inside and get So in 2010, January to be more specific, we had this opportunity to finally film our very first music video for our very, very first single. And I'm talking back in the days when we only had a small little EP recorded so far and no album, no big uh, fan base, no big support, or we were very small, you know, very small, uh, very young too, and we needed we needed something. We needed to start somehow and to start from somewhere. Before I tell you how we actually filmed the music video, I want to confess something really um, personal. Um, Way before I was in the band, I was writing lyrics. Here and there in different languages, some of them were just like little poems, some of them were just little interesting phrases or whatever, stories. I don't really remember when exactly I wrote this, but I just remember I was in my first year of university and I was very sad and very emotional about every problem in the world and especially about the war. I was very impressed how violent people can be and, and where did we arrive as a human race to just kill each other for such small reasons and materialistic reasons and I was very emotional at that time. I don't know why exactly at that moment but I wrote, that's when I wrote partially the little poem that was called Judgmental Trap. Um, it was that exact poem that I decided to work on and to develop into a song later on when I was in the band. And then it was our choice with the whole band uh, when we had to decide uh, what song is going to be our first single, our first music video, our first, I guess, business card, if you want to call it that way. So yeah, I took those lyrics, I worked on them a little bit more, changed a few things, add uh, other things to it, and here we go. We had the lyrics for this song. And that's why we decided to go with um, army outfits, 
with guns and uh, with um, kidnapping of people and torturing people and all that. So, as I said to you before, um, we didn't have a lot, a big budget, and we didn't have uh, many good places to choose from. So we ended up filming that music video in the garage of our guitar player Vidik, and partially and partially in uh, the woods of the city of Kishinev city, uh, like public woods, almost like a park uh, where people actually could walk, can walk through going to work or coming back to work. It's, it's crazy. We, that's what, what we had to work with. That's where we started from. We wrote down all our ideas and we tried to go from there. We found a friend that actually uh, was ready to help us out with the um, guns and we used airsoft uh, guns and they look very similar to the real guns. He volunteered to bring them uh, to the place where we were filming and he brought us some like army outfits and it was amazing. We got this help from this guy. Yura, if you're watching, thank you so much for your help. Back in the days, we only could imagine and dream about something like that. So thanks to you, we had this crazy look <laughs> in the music video. Не улыбайся, Сереж. Then I volunteered for being the tortured person. As you can tell, they were not joking around. All my boys, yeah, they were, they were pretty brutal. <laughs> uh, it was actually really hard to play that role for me. I, I'm not an actress, and an, I never pretended to be an actress or, you know, um, called myself an actress or something like that. But I always thought that, you know, if I'm pretty good at um, uh showing a look or an atmosphere or a stain of mind if I know what I'm talking about, if I know that stain of mind. So I think I did pretty good, um, especially considering how young I was and how little time we had. I think, I think it came out really good. I had to be sad, I had to cry, I had to scream. But basically all I did was sitting on the chair and just take all the brutality and all the, um, you know, all the stuff that people were doing to me. I was just taking it and trying to be a good actress, I guess. I, I got yelled at a few times because I was very cold and I, apparently I was not doing <laughs> my job really well because of the cold. And by the way, it was minus uh, 4 degrees uh, Celsius, which is 25 Fahrenheit. You imagine how cold that was. I was very cold, especially because I was sitting still. And after a few hours, I couldn't even feel my toes. And oh, it was not easy. Trust me, guys. It was definitely not easy. But we did it, you know. We uh, Each member of the band had to, their own part in that music video. They had to basically interrogate me, torture me. And they all did pretty good, but I think the best one was Vovan. He did really good, and he did it very fast, right away, really good, and so like impressive, and really like everybody would believe him. He was so intense and so aggressive towards me that even I freaked out at at a certain point. I was freaked out and shocked about how he grabbed me and like, I don't know, he, he's a good actor. He, that, that guy is a really good actor. <laughs> but yeah, um, the best part though is the water. So as you know, at a certain point in the music video, 
Vadim, our ex-drummer, he throws water to me. That scene was very tricky because we only could do it once, because otherwise I would have been wet and we couldn't do it again, you know? That's first reason. Second reason, remember I told you guys how cold it was. We didn't really want you to see the steam out of the water, so the water couldn't be hot. So that was room temperature or cold water that they like throw into me or all over me. And after that, I had to just run and have a like really warm bath because we couldn't just couldn't do it again for many reasons, you know? So that was a tricky party because it had to be perfect right away. It really is not the way I expected it to be. I had more uh, expectations out of that scene, I'll be honest. But still, it looks pretty good. I think it looks good in the music video. What do you guys think? So basically, we filmed these music videos in two days. First day we filmed all the scenes in the garage, that was the torture scenes. And the second day we filmed was in the woods of the beautiful Chisinau. <laughs> As I told you before that those woods are like a park, so a lot of people um, walk through those woods in order to go home or to work or you know just to go places so we were filming we tried to find a pretty remote place in the area to film that in order not to disturb anybody but still it was pretty loud because you know in order to film a music video we need um, the you know, the backup music, the drums are still very loud, you know. Then we needed the click. The metronome sound was so loud, I think people could hear them from their houses. It's really crazy. If I think about it today, we got really lucky that nobody called the police on us because we really didn't bother talking to anybody and, and getting a you know, permission from anybody about it. It's it's really crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful memories and I always remember it with a smile on my face, but it's pretty embarrassing too. Basically, while we were filming, some of the people were like very curious and they would come to see what's happening. What are these people so noisy about, you know? So they will come over, so we had like curious people watching us while we were shooting. And because we didn't really have a lot of time and en enough hours to shoot those scenes, we couldn't really bother to wait for people to leave or to talk to them and ask them to give us privacy. Oh my God, it's crazy. But as I said to you before, we didn't really have much to choose from. We didn't really have a big, you know, budget for it. And we just worked with what we had. But uh, I really, really like what we came out with. I think Judgmental Trap gave us such a good kick, such a good push to that, you know, first step we needed to take with the band at the time. And yeah, 2010 was a very important year for uh, Infected Rain, and we started that year with the release of the music video for the song Judgmental Trap. And I hope you guys like this cool little story about it. I basically want to say thank you to all the friends and everybody who supported us at that day during those filmings and during the shooting because it was not easy. It was cold, it was chaotic, but we made it. We made it thanks to all the people that were involved and everybody that helped and we made it thanks to you. Judgmental Trap definitely um, brought us a lot of fans, but also a lot of haters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who doesn't have haters, right? Everybody does, even me. <laughs> I remember it very well, because I was very emotional and very sensitive about every comment I would read online about my vocals and about me performing and about me 
as a girl and the way I look and the way I was dressed and everything. Oh my God, so many opinions, so many people. That was definitely a um, lesson I learned with that music video. Me personally, I definitely learned in that time that people are gonna hate all the time whatever you give them. You have to try to stay truth to your beliefs and truth to yourself and to never give up no matter what because it's obvious that first the first steps you do might not be right or might not be straight or might not be beautiful but you need those first steps to achieve something to go to the other level to the other step to the next page i don't know call it the way you want i'm so thankful for judgmental trap and i'm so thankful for everybody who was involved and helped and i'm twice more thankful for all the people that gave us a lot of love and a lot of support and made us believe in ourselves and continue doing music and continue do what we were doing so Thank you guys so much and thank you for watching. This is Bananas. I had so much fun telling you this story and I hope you liked it as much as I did because if you do, I need you to comment, I need you to share and I need you to tell me if you want to see more videos like this, uh, then maybe, who knows, maybe in the archives somewhere I can find more you know, last footages or last videos and we can bring them up. Why not, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter how embarrassing they are, we can still talk about it and we can still look at them now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, I love you, I love you. Stay metal and don't forget to smile.